on December 25, 2024, under the watchful gaze of the Atlas Asteroid Impact Early Warning System, a new cosmic wanderer made its grand entrance. Asteroid 2024, YR4, streaked into view, its path captured by telescopes stationed across Hawaii, Chile, and South Africa. The asteroid is about 150 feet or 50 meters wide, comparable to the length of a commercial airliner or the height of a 15-story building. When first detected, it had a 1.3% chance of impacting Earth, equivalent to a 1 in 83 probability of collision in 2032. However, follow-up observations reduced the estimated odds of impact to 0.001%. And a new observation of asteroid 2024 YR4 by the James Webb Space Telescope has provided fresh insights into the space rock while confirming that it poses no threat to Earth in 2032 or beyond. But while Earth is safe, there remains a possibility that the asteroid could impact the moon in 2032. Welcome to Territory. This is your space. The threat posed by near-Earth objects is generally low but remains a significant concern due to their potential to cause regional or even global devastation. These space rocks, which orbit near Earth, are continuously monitored to assess their impact risk. Thankfully, most detected asteroids fall into category 0 or 1 on the Torino scale. Others, particularly new discoveries, may initially be placed in higher categories, but as their trajectories are refined through further analysis, they are usually downgraded. Now, there are numerous observatories that are dedicated to tracking NEOs. However, on 8th March 2025, the JWST observed asteroid 2024 YR4, confirming that it poses no threat to Earth in 2032 or beyond. This marks it as the smallest asteroid web has ever studied and one of the tiniest whose size has been directly measured. Using its near-infrared camera, Webb captured reflected light from the asteroid, while its mid-infrared instrument detected thermal emissions providing valuable insights into its composition and properties. The findings indicate that the space rock lacks the characteristics of larger asteroids, possibly due to its rapid spin and a rocky surface devoid of fine-grained sand. Instead, 2024 YR4 appears to have a surface composed of fist-sized or larger chunks of rock. Webb's observations also determined its width to be approximately 60 meters, comparable to the height of a 15-story building. And while it is off the impact list, it remains under close observation by the Near-Earth Objects Coordination Center in Italy in collaboration with NASA and other international bodies to further refine its orbit. However, the asteroid might hit the moon. A new research suggests that there is about 4% chance of the asteroid's direct collision with the moon. Some scientists believe that if the impact occurs, it could provide a unique opportunity to study a freshly formed lunar crater. While it would have no effect on Earth, it would mark the first time researchers could observe the formation of a lunar crater caused by a known asteroid. A new analysis of archival Webb telescope data has revealed an unexpectedly large population of asteroids ever seen in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Just a decade ago, an asteroid only tens of meters wide caught everyone off guard when it exploded over a Russian city, unleashing energy 30 times greater than the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima during World War II. The newly discovered asteroids, however, range from the size of a bus to several stadiums, small compared to the colossal space rock that caused the dinosaur's extinction, yet still capable of delivering a powerful impact. These asteroids strike Earth 10,000 times more often than their larger counterparts, but their small size makes them difficult for surveys to detect early. A team of scientists from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology made this discovery by repurposing Webb's observations of the TRAPPIST-1 star and while doing so, uncovered a population of small asteroids in our asteroid belt. I know what you are thinking. Do these newly discovered space rocks pose a threat to Earth? Well, larger main belt asteroids orbiting between Mars and Jupiter typically stay in stable paths. In contrast, smaller ones are more often nudged by gravitational forces, potentially sending them into the inner solar system as potential impact threats. The discovery of at least five times more small objects in the main belt than anticipated may influence estimates of how often such impacts occur. 
JWST is particularly good at finding asteroids because they're much brighter at infrared wavelengths, and these asteroid findings fill a crucial gap in understanding the origins of meteorites and larger asteroids that could pose a threat to Earth. According to the new study, future JWST observations will target 15 to 20 distant stars for at least 500 hours, potentially uncovering thousands more small asteroids in our solar system. The Alpha Centauri star system consists of three stars, Alpha Centauri A and B, locked in a binary dance, and Proxima Centauri, a faint red dwarf. This entire system is moving toward us at a speed of 22 kilometers per second, or about 79,000 kilometers per hour, making it an ideal subject for studying how material travels between solar systems. In roughly 28,000 years, Alpha Centauri will reach its closest approach to us, about 200,000 astronomical units from the Sun. Scientists believe that material ejected from this system can and will reach us, and in fact, some of it may already be here. Existing models of material ejection from star systems are based partly on how our own solar system expels matter, and the researchers built their work on these models. Their findings suggest that Alpha Centauri may have ejected a significant amount of material, estimating that around 1 million particles larger than 100 meters in diameter are already within our Oort cloud. This animation that tries to bring the research to life shows our sun marked in a black hexagon, and its orbit is shown as a gray solid line. Alpha Centauri is represented by the yellow star, with its orbital path shown as a blue solid line. The study visualizes how Alpha Centauri moves through the galaxy and tracks the movement of material it ejects, some of which may already be in our solar system. However, the simulation shows that while particles from Alpha Centauri could plausibly reach our solar system, their size matters. According to the scientists, small particles, those that would appear as meteors in Earth's atmosphere are unlikely to make it. They face numerous obstacles along their journey, including magnetic fields, drag from the interstellar medium, and potential destruction through sputtering or collisions. But the research also found that some material from Alpha Centauri have already reached our solar system, with most of it traveling for less than 10 million years. It's fascinating to imagine that when their journey began, dinosaurs roamed the Earth, and the age of mammals had yet to begin. But to survive the journey, these particles must be larger than about 10 microns. Researchers estimate that around 10 Alpha Centauri particles currently enter Earth's atmosphere as detectable meteors, a number expected to increase tenfold over the next 28,000 years. This research reinforces the idea that our solar system is not isolated. If material can travel between star systems, it offers valuable insight into how planets form. Getting a clear understanding of how material travels from Alpha Centauri to our solar system not only enhances our knowledge of interstellar transport, but also sheds light on the interconnected nature of stellar systems and the potential for material exchange throughout the galaxy.